you have to learn to cope with it. Tim Tyler is telling me about losing his hearing after serving in World War II. Had ringing in my ears, and it gradually got worse and worse and worse and worse over the years. He got hearing aids and learned to read lips. It was very helpful. He used it unconsciously. Uh, when you look at people, I can hear a lot better than if I go this way. So when Tim ended up in the hospital battling pneumonia, his doctors wearing traditional face masks made communication a challenge. So they traded those masks for this one with a clear opening at the mouth all thanks to this woman. Necessity is the mother of all invention. Dr. Ann McIntosh is also hearing impaired and relies heavily on reading lips to communicate. While in the hospital for more than 24 hours giving birth to her daughter, she was unable to understand her doctors and nurses, who were all wearing traditional masks. But I just remember the fear that came over me during that encounter, and it was so, so preventable had I simply been able to follow the conversation. She wanted to do something about it and came up with an idea, a face mask with a clear window. It's the little things in life that make a difference though, right? Now, the communicator is the first FDA approved medical mask of its kind, one she believes can change the face of healthcare. And the better that I can understand what you're saying to me, the better I can respond so that you can help me. I need to be able to help you so that you as a health care or as a dental provider can, can assist me. It looks sort of funny. A simple solution. I think it's a great invention. Why somebody didn't think about it before, I don't know, but I think it's a great thing. Clearing the way for something often taken for granted. For The Now, I'm Kumasi Aaron.